You're watching UNICEF Television. A few years ago, Hibak Abdi's family fled fighting in Somalia and made their way to safety in Ethiopia, where they lived as refugees for four years. The family has since returned and settled in a camp for displaced people 12 kilometers from Burao town, northwest Somalia. Hibak helps her mother before going to school. She is enrolled in Kusa Primary, half a kilometer away from her home. This morning, her first lesson is mathematics. After I finish primary school, I want to go to high school, then to university. I want to become a doctor so I can help the people in my community. Conflict, poverty and lack of appropriate facilities, as well as local authorities' inability to sustain teacher salaries, had a serious impact on children's enrollment and school attendance. The headmaster's office stores teaching and learning materials and textbooks for various grades and subjects. Most of them are supplied with funding from the government of Japan. Before the textbooks were brought to the school, teaching was difficult and people had a hard time grasping the lessons. For example, a lesson that should have taken two days to finish took five days. As a result, more than 400,000 Somali children and 10,000 teachers across the country have benefited from Japan's contribution since 2009. In Somalia, access to basic health care is scarce. That's why UNICEF and its partners support key life-saving interventions to Somali children and women through strengthened health services. Children under five are screened for malnutrition and immunized against measles, diphtheria, whooping cough, tetanus and polio and receive vitamin A supplementation. Oral rehydration salts and water purification tablets are distributed and women of childbearing age are vaccinated against tetanus. Nazra Ali, a 35-year-old mother with seven children, has brought her youngest daughter for vaccination. Because of lack of vaccination, children used to get sick a lot. My son got measles, which gave him rashes all over and high fever. He had no vaccination, and because of that, vaccination is important for good health. <laughs> Medical supplies and vaccine storage equipment procured with funding from Japan have also helped UNICEF to provide the necessary support to primary health care facilities across the country, serving more than 1.8 million women and children. This is Denise Shepard-Johnson reporting for UNICEF Television. Unite for Children.